All right, everybody, welcome back. If you notice the last two, the last three, I've skipped the introduction. We don't need that. It's better just to get right to the turtles. So today is day six of the Turtly Awesome 12 Days of Christmas. And today we're gonna to be looking at a turtle very similar to the one we saw yesterday. It's in the same genus, Heosimis. This is Heosimis uh, depressa. Now, this species is critically endangered because one, they are collected for the pet trade. That's why we have them here. These are captive bred offspring, animals that came directly from the wild for the pet trade. And we're hopefully going to breed them. This is a captive produced pair. It's the only one we know of. They're just not produced that regularly. Some species that are endangered, they breed readily in captivity. Others, they don't. This unfortunately is a species that does not breed readily in captivity. So there are only a handful of breedings, a couple dozen hatchlings successfully hatched out. So they're very rare. They're only found in kind of the northwestern part of Myanmar and then the Chittagong Hills in Bangladesh that we know of. Now, it could be in uh, Mizoram State in India. It's right there in Chittagong in Myanmar. There's no reason, there's no obvious geographic barrier. We just don't know. There's just not a lot of scientific exploration there recently, especially with turtles. So they could be. That's the area of research we still need to know. And the Pressa, like other species in Asia, we don't know a lot about them in the wild. We have found out some. They tend to restrict movements to the wet season. They did some radio tracking and found out they really like, they don't move much during the dry season. They spend time on leaves and rocks. But in the wet season, they will move about. And like the sister species, Spinosa, they're omnivorous vegetable matter, plants, also insects and things like that. So this is Heosemites depressa, and we have not successfully bred them yet. We hope to in the future. Very limited range. We don't know much about them, and there are organizations trying to protect them. Thankfully, they're trying to protect them. We'll move this and let you get a closer look. He actually ate some mice earlier today. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed episode six. This is a very critically endangered species, but hopefully we can learn more about them in the future to protect them.